The new legislature chose DPP Su Jianquan and Tsai Chi Chang as its speaker and deputy speaker, making the two the first DPP party members to hold such positions in the legislature. Su promised he'll support legislative reform based upon the will of the people. Su also said he'd relinquish his party posts immediately. Su and Jia Jian, the票, 70 票。After greeting DPP legislators and reporters, DPP at-large legislator Su Jiaquan was presented with a certificate recognizing his election as legislative speaker. The new legislature has 113 seats. Su won all of the 74 votes from the DPP. The new power party and independent lawmaker Zhao Zhengyu securing a landslide victory over candidates nominated by the KMT and the PFP. Su officially becomes the first DPP legislative speaker. He pledged legislative reform and neutrality in the legislature. I will direct legislative reform based on the interests and expectations of the people. I will also immediately resign from all my party positions and refrain from participating in any ruling party activities. The DPP's deputy speaker candidate, Tsai Ji Chang, was also elected with 74 votes. Su said he is committed to legislative reform. The much-criticized mechanism for inter-party negotiations is his first target. I will promote online signature drives, allowing the public to suggest changes to major bills. Civil reporters will be allowed to enter the legislature for interviews. Information about the legislature will also be made available online. In the future, the new legislature will no longer have under-the-table discussions or a secret chamber. Soon after the election, Su officially appointed former TSU Secretary General Lin Zhijia as Legislative Secretary General. With today's elections complete, along with a new crop of legislators in office, a new chapter has begun in the legislature.